Hello, my beautiful friends. It's time to read some cards and stones. It's been forever. So, um, I can't remember whose channel. Maybe Mama's channel? Could have been Misty's channel. But anybody, uh, I think it was Misty. I'm not sure. If you know who you are, tell me. Somebody did a um, card uh, playthrough for Rebecca Campbell's Ancient Stones Oracle. And I, I typically don't buy a lot of cards anymore because I kind of have the ones that I always use. Um, I do like uh, Rebecca Campbell's artwork. Um, I think her artist is named Katie Louise. And um, I just like the color palette that Rebecca uses. And um, and I have other cards of hers. They, they don't really resonate with me. But I am a stones person. I am a standing stones person. And, um, you know, I just, I, I really love the, the walkthrough that I, I think it was Misty. I think it was Misty, um, that she did. So I'm not going to do a walkthrough. I'm actually going to show you how I prepare cards, and I am going to do a reading with them. So I have some incense here that I'm going to light with my Scottish candle that I just got, and just happens, you know, to be that the theme for the candle, or the theme for the wee box was uh, Outlander and Standing Stones. And um, so I've lit some incense. And I am going to just pass the cards through the incense to sort of, you know, just, you know, bless them, clear their energy. And so I'm talking to you. I'm going to do them one by one. Um, it also gets them from being unsticky. So, because, uh, you know, when they, they ship, they're sticky. So I've not been around for a while, and I apologize. Um, I got super busy then I was really busy and um, you know and I think uh, you know my last video was about like getting busy and getting stuck and you just really have to make time for it and then like a giant hypocrite I just didn't make time so I'm just passing these one at a time through the smoke they're just gorgeous the cards are gorgeous um, there's also a book which I'll run through the smoke too and there's also a, uh, an incantation that I'm going to read in a hot second. So I hope all of you are well. I've had a lot going on, a lot of Red Cross calls. The, there's only a few of us that volunteer for Red Cross Disaster where I live. And uh, two of our senior members, the people that trained me, they both retired. And so that leaves three of us. Um, but one, one of those people doesn't really go out on calls. So that really leaves two of us. So... Um, you know, and I live in an area that doesn't usually have a lot of activity, uh, but for whatever reason, there have been four huge fires in this area in the past two weeks. So, so as we just run these cards through each one over the over the incense to bless them, clear them of any energy, and I'm just asking spirit to bless the cards. Um, I hope that they resonate with me because I do. Um, I do like a good message. So I'm drinking uh, the Scottish tea that came in my wee box. I know. It's all right. It's not that good, to be honest. I had to put extra honey in it. I'm trying to cut down on the amount of honey I drink per day. But uh, one teaspoon, half teaspoon was not do, doing a thing. So I put another half. It's got, like, something in it that I just doesn't agree with me, but it's okay. It's always great to keep our minds open. So I'm, I'm, I'm specifically not looking at the cards because I don't want to get drawn in um, to them. I want to do a proper reading. So I'm almost done running the cards through. And then we'll do a proper reading and ask Spirit... You know, if these are a tool that I can use. So I have a lot of cards. Many of them do not resonate with me, no matter how pretty they are. One of the cards that I use a lot, um, I don't like the images on them. They're not my style of artwork. These are definitely more my style of artwork. Uh, but the messages resonate. So um, I try not to get wowed in by the artwork. I try to get wowed in by the message that Spirit has for me. And... Um, you know, the artwork is beautiful, but if the message is hollow or empty, uh, that doesn't do anybody any good, right? All right, we've run those through. 
I'm run over the incantation page. I'm going to run the box over because the cards stay in the box. And the inside of the box. And then the book. I just, I do both sides of the book and then I open the book. And just kind of flood it through. And ask spirit. Um, I don't sometimes use the books that come with the cards. I sort of do my own intuitive reading, um, but I like to start off with the option of using the box. So this actually came with um, an attunement. And it says, um, I think I should probably hold the cards while I'm saying this. Come, come, ancient stones, come. Ancient ones, positive ancestors, you who were present long before me, and you who will continue after I've gone. I call upon you to activate this oracle, to be a vehicle of healing, insight, protection, and grace. I call upon you to bless these cards and forever guide me to connect with the wisdom deep within. May I attune to ancient knowledge. May I be held steady by your strength and surrender. May I stay curious and grounded with every step. May I find the courage to walk the ever-deepening way of the ancient stones. May these cards deliver clear messages and reflections to me and all who use them. May these messages and reflections be of the highest and deepest benefit for humanity and the earth. May these cards reveal what's unseen and act as getaways for me and who I'm reading for to connect with the wisdom deep within. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I like that. And then there's a, there's a QR code that you can actually, and I actually watched this before when I ordered the cards because I uh, pre-ordered them. So we will do our shuffling and we will see what messages our ancestors have for us. So I'm always trying to connect with ancestors and trying to, you know, wow, the hard to shuffle. New cards are always so stiff. So we do three passes, but I've been trying to connect more with ancestors through meditation and through, um, like a light self-hypnosis and um, you know, I have a I've done some work with some others who who are into ancestral veneration um, and uh, I think about the math for ancestors it's, you know incredible how many you have really when you think about it all right All right, let's see what comes out, shall we? Just asking Spirit for guidance. Let's pass one. Pass two. Pass three. We didn't get any. They're really, they really are stuck together. So I'm going to shuffle them again. We'll shuffle. We'll do sh three shuffles and three passes for each shuffle. Because they really are stuck together. They're stiff. So we'll do one. Two. Kind of have to like, work the cards to get them moving a little bit. They're stiff. Energy all in there. Try again. See if spirit has any messages. One, two, three. Okay, nothing on that. On those three passes, so we'll do it one more time and see if that loosens them up a little bit. If not, maybe the cards aren't meant to speak to me. That is always an option. One. Ask Seth to, uh, if he wants to use these cards to speak to me. My spirit guide's name is Seth. Seth, uh, Two or three, I think it was three.
toss them through the smoke again, see if that helps. Real work that that was for my arms. All right, Seth, any messages? This one. Nope. Got one. Two. a weird one. All right, there we go. This crew came out together. This one came out, and this one popped out. Okay, the first one is called, it says, nothing is impossible. Open to the unexpected, and you will find a way. So let's take a look at the book. Hoping they're in alphabetical order. Okay, they are. Thank God. Open to the unexpected, you will find a way. Sometimes paths appear in the most unexpected places. Barri barriers that we previously believed were in our way suddenly roll away and assist us upon our journey. Obstacles that we thought were stopping us from pro progressing create holy detours that lead us to an unexpected destiny. This is that card in the deck, the one that encourages you to turn your gaze upward and believe in the impossible. Things will likely not turn out the way you thought they would, or even the way you would have hoped. However, in the end, it's possible they will turn out even better than you could have imagined. Many faith paths urge us to embrace life's changes and trust that if something is for us, it cannot be taken from us. For our destiny, when embraced, is written in stone. If life hasn't been going to plan, fret not, because things are being woven on your behalf. Your path and desires haven't been forgotten. They're just a little different from what you thought. Have faith, trust, and an open mind and heart. You'll find a way through through it, and in a day not too distant. You'll see how life has been unfolding for you every step of the way. And the ancient stone activation. I open my mind and heart to the unexpected. Everything's working out on my behalf. So on the card, she's, uh, there's like mountains and there's like a hole in the middle. She's kind of standing at the edge of the water. And I, and I, I thought it reminded me of uh, a time when I was hiking, which actually was two years ago this week. And I was hiking with, um, with a group of friends on the AT and we were in this thick, thick wood and it just opened up to this amazing, beautiful field. We were all hot and overheated, and it was just the most beautiful sight. Like, I can't describe it, but it was just like the forest was so dark, and the rocks were so hard, and then all of a sudden there was this beautiful field, which I really needed at that very moment. And so we often don't know what's through the thick, you know, and that's what that reminds me of. So I will have to journal about what I think that means in terms of my life. Then we have Stepping Stones and See the Beauty. So let's see what they what that means. Take the next step, simplicity focus. Even the greatest journeys start with the first steps. A step here, a leap there, and eventually a path appears. Nothing is ever wasted. Every experience you gain along the way forms who you are and the story of where you've been. The Stepping Stones cards reminds us that we don't need to know every single step of the way. It reminds us that no matter how much we try to plan, there are the unexpected things that occur. If you spend your time in trying to avoid these obstacles or missteps, if you strive for perfection before any motion, you may never leave the comfort of where you already are. Growth doesn't always feel comfortable. In fact, it's when we're uncomfortable that we'll like to know we're stretching and growing. This card wants you to know that there are times for great planning and times to proceed ahead. This is the latter. A time of choosing the right next step over procrastination, a forward movement over strategy. Put one foot in front of the other and trust that when the time comes to take another step, you'll know just what to do. Soul inquiry. What baby step are you being called to take today in the direction of your dreams? I like that she's relying on some Henry David Thoreau quote right there. And that's partnered with See the Beauty. 
gratitude. The sacred is everywhere. Stones are often so oh, stones are so often overlooked. The bones of this earth are often truly not appreciated for their infinite variety and beauty. But if you look at the stones a little more closely and in all the other beautiful things around you, you'll find that you can be transported into a state of awe any moment you wish. For those who have eyes to see it, this world is filled with never-ending beauty, and when we notice the beauty around us, we enter a state of appreciation and gratitude. If we awaken our hearts and turn our gaze upward, we discover that beauty is all around us. If we're willing to take time to look for it, we'll discover the sacred is woven in all things, and the intelligent codes of life are within it all, too. Soul Inquiry. How can you take a moment to notice the beauty that's all around you? What blessings can you appreciate right now in your life? The last one is, uh, I'm going to just look at these cards. Stepping Stones is a girl walking away. She's walking toward bright light. So she's walking into something gorgeous. And she's focused. If you've ever hiked on in a creek bed and you have to, you have to really kind of navigate the rocks, you know, see the beauty. Sometimes you have to shift perspective to see something beautiful. Sometimes you have to like either back up or move to the side or get a lens to help you see it. All right, retreat, the cave, time out, self-care, slow down. All right, the cave. Uh... Caves have been used as spaces of contemplation and introspection throughout human history. They're seen as a symbol of connecting with the heart through retreating to the cave and being in solitude. The initiate can reconnect in their truest self, with their truest self. Through removing themselves from the business of their everyday life, they can find their truest, truest path. Uh, soul inquiry. How can you create some space in your life to slow down, reflect, and go in? Can you find just a little window of quiet so that you can regulate and resource yourself and truly tune in? Well, that's an interesting thing. These now all kind of make sense. They're tied to that card because I've been so busy that I have not made time for my spiritual path. And um, even though I want to, like I want to make time for it, you know, and I've made a few videos that I just haven't posted because they were crap. And uh, I sometimes get discouraged because I'm like, why would people even want to listen to me on YouTube anyway? You know, I look at all these other polished videos of people who do these amazing, you know, videos. And I and I think that they're all so great. Um, and I look at my videos and I'm like, like, who cares what I have to say? Um, but then I remember that I do this because it's a way for me to be held accountable, right? And to to not become full of myself or my spiritual practice and to be honest and authentic about it. And, you know, some days I get distracted and busy and um, I think, oh, I'll do that later. And then I don't. And then I feel bad. And then I kind of like, like, don't look at it because then I feel like, oh, like I've done a bad thing. And uh, I'm trying to find my special stones here so I get them all out of here. Um, you know, so, so then I get kind of pulled away and then I don't come back. And that's my fault because I feel like I can't be on that path again. So this is a reminder that I need to take that time every day to focus on my spiritual practice, connect with my ancestors, connect with Seth and my spirit guides and the archangels, um, because that's what makes my life complete. I've been really working on my health. Um, I have lost 27 pounds as of this morning, so I'm on my way. Um, that's since January, so don't get too excited. It's it's been a long been a long time coming, um, but my sugar is be, is regulated. It's been a good. It's been at a great rate for like two three weeks now and i'm really mindful of what i'm eating and um the heat has made it virtually impossible to hike but um you know like it's all parts of a puzzle right like that's all part of you like your health and your wellness and your spiritual practice and your work and your your relationships like all of it is equal parts um and uh we run it into problems when we let a part go so let's see what um Seth and his ancestors and the spirit guides have to say. I'm going to just pull a stone to focus on to go with these cards. So Seth, if you would just give me one, one stone that you think I should think about. Gibo. Gift. So Gibo is all about gifts and all about 
recognizing all the gifts that you have, like, you know, it, it was a gift that I was, I've been able to focus on my health and really do a better job of taking care of myself. I take care of everybody else, but I don't often take great care of myself. So that's been a gift. And, and Dave's health scare, he was in the hospital for a kidney stone. It is, there is no wonder to why women have the babies, let me just say. Um, but it was scary because we didn't know what it was at first. And, and I, I thought he was dying. He thought he was dying. So, um, <clears throat> so I think, uh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm really good at taking care of other people, but I have to take care of myself and taking care of myself is my spiritual practice. And I have to be here on YouTube because that makes me accountable. I have met so many great people, my sisters out here. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm catching up on videos, um, unboxings and things like that. And, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, I really do enjoy watching my sister's videos. Uh, they come from all different practices, and I learn so much. And um, they are a gift to me. And when I don't... Oh. Purge. When I don't watch the videos and I don't participate in our community, that's robbing myself of the gift of their friendship and sisterhood. So, um, so I think I know what I need to go write about. I am wishing all of you all the very best of light and love. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye.